Welcome back to the cafe and along shortly is Chef Marks sharing his recipe for a prawn frittata and we'll be treated to a live performance from the fantastic feelers. You should listen to James Reed's voice, it is just incredible. Now in Perpetual Guardian Money Matters this week we are talking interest rates and how they affect you. We are joined by our finance guru Charlotte Lockhart and mortgage broker Bruce Patton. Good morning to you both. Good morning. morning. I love the way you always bring along an expert Charlotte, it's wonderful. Oh thank you. Now Bruce let's start with you, interest rates because this is quite a fascinating subject. Last month the OCR was uh, was cut to an all-time low, wasn't it? 1.75%. Yep. Uh, is this getting passed on by the banks to us? No, at the moment it's not, unfortunately. Um, and the last couple really haven't. The, the last one the banks passed on about 0.05, 0.1. This time nothing. So why are they passing it on? Um, the number of reasons, but predominantly the, the w their world's changing a bit. The Reserve Bank is requiring the banks to hold more capital for, for every investment loan they give out. Um, so what the banks are having to do is try and get people to put more money back in the bank. People have been taking money out to buy investment properties and invest in other things because right. the rates have been so very low. They want it back. They want it back. Fair enough. So, so what are the pushing up the term deposit rates to get it back. So our mortgage term is ending. Should we be looking at fixed or floating? So there's two things you have to consider. Um, the first one is do you want to know your cost of funding for the next reasonable period? And if that's the case, fix. Um, if you're more flexible, you've got a lot of surplus money, um, and interest rates aren't really going to affect you if they go up, then certainly you can stay floating or short term. But most people want security, so at the moment we're sort of recommending owner occupied two to three years, investment properties you might look a bit longer for a bit more security. Okay, so why wouldn't you fix for a longer time necessarily? Uh, well there's a big difference at the moment, very low fours for short term, now getting into the fives for the much longer term, so some people won't want to or be able to afford that. Mm -hmm. um, everybody's based their figures now off early 4% interest rates, so they're, they're in for a bit of a shock with a little bit of a rise. So um, you just have to give due consideration to what your circumstances are. Mm. I've been in that boat, we've all been in that boat before actually to a certain uh, respect. Uh, so what would be your advice then for people that are trying to get onto the property ladder right now? Yeah, well look, um, interest rates are the lowest they've ever been. Um, so it's a good time. Um, the market, we're just starting to see it slow down a little bit, so it's a really good opportunity for anybody trying to get in. Um, so get in, get a good interest rate, and my suggestion to anybody starting out first home buyer is lock it in for a little while, two to three years, know what you're paying, get used to paying a mortgage. Just get that peace of mind. That's very good advice. Now Charlotte, do the interest rates affect, what about KiwiSaver, do they affect that? Yeah, so well, KiwiSavers are all sorts of investments, and uh, they're generally, depending on the type of investment that you have, whether you're a balanced or a conservative, or whatever fund you've chosen, um, the, the mix in terms of how much might be in cash, will vary so if you've got any questions about that you should speak to your KiwiSaver provider and if you don't know who your KiwiSaver provider is then you speak to IRD on 0800 KiwiSaver and they'll be able to tell you quite how that might impact on the, uh, the this KiwiSaver that you have. Okay interest rates they are actually quite fascinating all I know is that they always seem to be very small for the savings and very big for the credit cards. Yes. Seems to be the way it goes well thank you both, both for coming in today and talking about that fascinating stuff Bruce and Charlotte.